So this is the first look at the population add-on. This is version two. If you've got population add-on, it's ready there. I mean, it's just being updated. However, if you don't, there's a few cool features. Let's kind of go through them. Now I am gonna start from scratch. I am just gonna use this scene. This scene's available on Patreon. Go check that out. But let's start off. I can either go single person or crowd and we can have an ambient crowd, ambient person. Or if we go crowd, we've got certain things that we can do. Cluster mode, classic mode. I like this group mode. Let's go into time seven. I want them to be maybe communication wise and they can be kind of standing at a conference, lovely. From here, let's select the ground. Let's go add new people. There we go. And I'm gonna click import. From here, let's just move them into position. That's a lot of people. What are they doing? <laughs> what did I solve? <laughs> Standing stand conference. Okay, what we can do is I'm gonna select what is the ground. So that's the ground, so, ground, so it's gonna to snap to the ground. We can change the size um, of how much space they take. We can obviously change the density to like 100, get rid of a few people. Let's go one meter safety and we can obviously change the seed we can change the gradient so one is an even coverage over this box where with the gradient position if we bring it back down they're more chilling at the front here same as the gradient length move it to the front move it to the back and if we want to have an object for instance if we go into cube this is our target so we want them to kind of like pay attention to it click on that look at target and we will set the target and so now, oops. And so now when we move it, you can see that they're kind of like rotating that position. Probably the conference one isn't the best one for this. We technically maybe should be doing, I don't know, let's have a look. What are the daily life? All these guys are sitting. We will have a look at the sitting stuff in a stadium, but there are just the kind of like a whole bunch of random motions that we can attach to these people. So if we press play and then we start moving this around, not the best example but we'll show the stadium si um, style in a sec. Let's just talk about walk paths first. So if we go into crowd and we would go follow a curve, add the people, make sure they're walking a specific way. Uh, standard male, beautiful. Uh, let's go casual. Then we can select import and now it's gonna bring in our kind of like pen tool so we can actually draw where these peeps come from so they can go that way, sure, why not? And then if we press play, we can see how they are walking along that. Now, obviously they are very close. We can go random start. So we can increase this random start to let's say a thousand. And now they're a lot more spread out. We can add in more people. Let's go to a hundred. Computer's not happy, but that's fine. <laughs> we can spread out the width of the um, path that they're walking. However, if we go into edit mode, and what I want is this bit here. I want them to actually kind of like pinch in because maybe they have to walk through a building and such. We can actually pinch it in. And then when they get to that point, we'll see that they kind of scrub through and they all walk through that point. And then they'll expand back out into their sections. That's a pretty cool feature. We can change biodegradable bio directional probability and so then we've got these people that are both walking in separate ways and then they come through the middle like that oh my goodness i think i might have to go back and revisit and create more of these buildings and more assets around the buildings because that seems like that's going to be fun obviously we can come into single people i want just eric you can walk you know what you can run mate walk run there we go let's go Mail run, why not? Let's go import the character straight into that pen tool. And then you can run from here across to there and run inside, buddy. And then if we kind of have a look, you can see him sprinting through. So we can do kind of like individual paths. And then we can always go ahead, add in more of him. A hundred people on top of each other. Blah. Random start, there we go, a thousand. I mean, it's a thousand of the same character, but. <laughs> <laughs> there you go that's pretty that's pretty cool and then we can reverse them if we really wanted to so it's super interesting i wonder what can we do before we break i'm gonna go a thousand just for fun ah, computer's not happy it oh, <laughs> I did it
That's hilarious. Wow. So for those of you who are on my live stream on Sunday would have known that we built this kind of stadium. Pretty cool. However, using stadium mode, we can now fill this um, place up. So the one thing we need to do though is have each of these chairs as kind of like individual objects because that's where the people are gonna be going into. So what I'm gonna quickly do is set up an array for these two sides. So just give me a sec. So now we've got cubes under each of these seats. I'm gonna press space and we'll do a convert to mesh. Let's move it into a collection called seats into edit mode. Yep, P separate by loose parts. And now we've got all our seats in here. Now we can start bringing in our characters. Let's go into B productions. We want a crowd, we want seven. No, 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 sorry. We want stadium mode, collection, seats. And you, sir, I want you to be standing, sitting. There we go, I know how to talk. Let's go add these seven characters. Let's go import. And hopefully I'm not wrong, but I'm pretty sure. Whoops, it's going off the origin point. So let's just select all of them. Right click, set origin to geometry. <laughs> There's so many people. Rotate them, 180. Just gonna save it before we go into render mode. There's over a thousand people at the moment. Why are these guys wearing bikinis? I, uh, or workout gear? I selected the wrong one. Oh, well, let them cheer. Um, I would have preferred if there was a slider as well. I might go back to Florian and go, hey buddy, can we have a randomized um, seed in terms of how many people in each seat? But anyway, what I can do though, is come here, select all my seats. I can now search and we'll type in random. And we're gonna go select random. And we're gonna come down to the bottom here, change it to deselect. And now we'll select about 50% of the seats. I think if I go point, hmm, let's go point two. Sorry, let's go point eight. And now if I delete some of those spots, now we can see that if we go back into solid mode, we can see now we've got some empty seats in there, which is looking way cooler. If we press play, <laughs> that's so cool. And then we have a brief overview of the population tool. I think I'm gonna be having fun during the web series. Hey, like and subscribe, click on the links below. <laughs> so like, this bit here, there's there's like 20 seconds remaining before I hit eight minutes. So uh, I'm just gonna tell you a quick joke. What do you call a laughing motorcycle? A Yamaha. <laughs> if I quit my day job to become a comedian, I'll be a laughing stock. I'm so excited about Amateurs Autopsy Club. Tuesday is open mic night. I'm not sorry. <laughs>